This video must be very interesting to you, so watch it carefully. And this is about reversal of coronary atherosclerosis. So the question is, can somebody reverse coronary atherosclerosis with aggressive lifestyle changes? Can somebody reverse calcium scores with lifestyle? Um, so I'm gonna to touch two things here, coronary atherosclerosis and coronary calcium scores. Yesterday I had this video about uh, coronary calcium, so I'm gonna to touch that as well. So coronary atherosclerosis can be reversed to some degree. Now, to some degree, that's just the phrase, very important words there. Research has been done over the last 30 years show that intensive lifestyle intervention can halt, slow, and in some cases, partially reverse, partially, not completely, partially reverse coronary atherosclerosis. Dr. Dean Ornish is based in Northern California. From 1990s to at present, he had this cohort of patients he has been studying, and uh, the trial is called the Lifestyle Heart Trial. And that demonstrated so far that a very low fat vegetarian diet, exercise, stress reduction, and smoking sedation led to measurable regression of coronary atherosclerosis um, or coronary artery stenosis on angiogram after one year and five years. In fact, his diet is so popular that he went to a Senate hearing to get approval from Medicare to pay for it, and he got it. So it tells you his study is quite um, um, remarkable. Uh, Dr. Caldwell Isseltine from Cleveland Clinic, long-term follow-up, a patient on a strict whole food plant-based diet, showed reduced angina and halted progression of coronary disease. There are a bunch of other cohort and interventional studies, Mediterranean style, diets, weight loss, smoking cessation, regular aerobic activity, statin therapy, improve endothelial function and plaque stability, and thus reducing the risk of rupture. The key point here is lifestyle changes, improve plaque composition, making it more stable, the plaques are more solidified, it's less inflamed and more fibrotic, more stiff. It's not a supple and soft, it would not rupture, which really basically is, that's how it prevents the heart attack. Because soft plaque, they rupture and they cause clotting. Um, so this is often more important than reducing plaque size. Can coronary calcium score be reduced? No, not typically. One of the followers, he asked the same question. Uh, and um, so I answered him that, no, that's really not the case. It's only they increase with time, even the people who are making lifestyle changes or taking statins. Um, so they, they call it in cardiology and the medicine, a statin paradox. The statins often increase scores slightly while making plaques more stable by reducing the soft rupture prone components. And that's really important because when those plaques are solidified, becomes fibrotic, they're not gonna rupture, they're not gonna cause partial blockage or a complete blockage. So lifestyle intervention, exercise, diet, weight loss, smoking cessation, um, slow the rate of calcium progression but they do not typically lower the score. What is the clinical consensus? The clinical consensus is calcium score is actually considered an irreversible marker of past damage. Okay, so what has happened has happened, but it also helps predict the risk that you have those risk factor. Um, and what is more important is slowing the progression and reducing soft plaque 
vulnerability. So plaques are stiff, they're more fibrotic, they're less prone to rupture and cause blockage and heart attack. So what are the research showing? Lifestyle trials, Dr. Ornish, Dr. Siltine, Dr. Pritkin, regression of soft, soft plaques and improved angina symptoms are possible. Imaging studies um, have been done. Uh, we show that plaque regression has been documented with aggressive LDL lowering um, uh, medication like statin or PCSK9 inhibitor and lifestyle changes. Calcium score reduction is rare. Most data show a stabilization or slow progression rather than reversal. Um, current view of American Heart Association, uh, Amer American uh, Cardiology um, Group, uh, and uh, ESC guidelines, uh, they talk about CAC as a risk marker, not a treatment target. The goal is preventing clinical events, which is heart attack and stroke through risk factor modification, LDL lowering, blood pressure control, diabetes control, suggestion of smoking and diet and exercise. So in summary, coronary atherosclerosis can be partially reversed or stabilized with aggressive lifestyle changes and medication. Coronary calcium scores almost never go down, but the progression can be really slowed down. Um, and researchers, they all talk about plaque stability and event reduction as the true success markers, not calcium regression. Hope you like the video and if any question, please ask.